What's going on guys? My name's Chris, welcome back. Today we are gonna talk about a very important issue, especially if you live in the state of Connecticut where I live. And our governor, Ned Lamont, is petitioning as of last week to extend his executive orders that he put in place in March of 2020, almost 20 months ago. He's asking for the Connecticut General Assembly to approve his extension on executive orders for another 120 days at least, which would push us into 2022. Extending, theoretically, the majority of his, ex of his executive orders he put in place and adding two new ones in. Now remember, executive orders are not a law. However, they are extraordinarily powerful and he needs approval to extend these. Governor Lamont is pretty um, persistent when it comes to these sorts of things and he's been all over the news over the past couple of weeks, and this will happen or not happen as of September 30th this week. So potentially you could see a lot of things happening moving into 2022, which is what we're going to discuss. All right, so in an announcement last week, uh, there's been some news and some buzz around this topic, all right? A lot of people in the state of Connecticut are publicly talking about how they are not fond of Governor Lamont uh, petitioning to extend his executive orders that he put in place 20 months ago in March of 2020. So with that said, there's been a lot of local news and a lot of local uh, politicians speaking up about their opposition to the case, including his party, the Democratic Party, speaking pretty loudly about how they do not want this to happen. Here's an announcement from um, News Channel 8 in Connecticut. It's titled, Capital Report Lamont's Pandemic Powers to Expire at the End of September. He's asking for an extension while some lawmakers say it's time to end them. His extended powers expire this week, and he's asking for another 120-day extension to keep a handful of those safety orders, it's a cute word, in effect, including mask mandates in schools and vaccine mandates for both state workers and healthcare workers. It's not just the Republicans who are questioning whether it's time to end the pandemic powers. The Black and Puerto Rican caucus had something to say about it as well, which are primarily Democratic. So this article goes on into a, a video report, and it was basically some individuals on all sides of political parties debating the relevancy of executive orders being extended. Now, if you move over to the press release off of the government website uh, for the state of Connecticut, which will have links for all of this, Governor Lamont issues call for General Assembly to meet in a limited special session, public health and civil preparedness emergencies. All right. So this is basically the press release by Lamont and the state of Connecticut with him petitioning all local lawmakers and open to the public's perception of why the executive orders put in place in 2020 should be extended. Now, there's approximately 14 executive orders that were put in place in March of 2020, and he wants to extend what looks like about 10 or 11 of them on the website, it actually says which ones he will not be extending, but the majority of them he will, and he's also putting into place the new executive orders or putting into the a petitioning for an extension of the new executive orders he put in place recently when it comes to the requirements of the medication for healthcare workers. It's a mandate for all healthcare facilities. And 
additional healthcare workers who provide care for high risk individuals. So I think the real question here is executive orders are not laws. However, executive orders operate very similarly for a short period of time. And I understand why a governor or uh, an individual of power would want to make extensions for the safety and health of individuals in their state in this case. Now, many might not know that the state of Connecticut actually has uh, some of the best numbers in the nation when it comes to medicine taken by adults and overall. Uh, I have read that uh, Connecticut has the highest number of adults medicated in regards to this subject, which is fantastic if that's what the adults believe in. However, belief and choice are becoming readily very separate in not only the state of Connecticut, but also the United States of America. Choice to become medicated, choice to become healthy is becoming farther and farther be few between by things like executive orders mandating. If you want to keep your job, you need to be medicated. If you don't want to be medicated, well, you lose your job. Well, yes, that is choice technically. However, what is the byproduct of that choice? And I believe not only will choice become farther and few between, but also small business will become farther and few between as more and more people are beginning to realize that this is a matter of choice and they're standing up for what they believe in opposed to what's being mandated. Small business, I believe, is fundamentally outside of middle class and middle class workers are going to be the most heavily affected when it comes to these situations. Small business continues to close. Mandates continue to increase. The byproduct of more executive orders and extensions of executive orders that have to do with lack of choice and more mandates has a serious byproduct for the middle class, small business, and the residents of the state of Connecticut. And that's what I do not believe is being focused on is the byproduct of. These extensions of executive orders will only continue to focus on singular topics such as mandates, medications, masks, the byproduct of our children that are in schools and are masked. What are their social skills? Eventually, they're going to be the ones in government office 30, 40 years from now. And they might not have the skills that children learn while interacting with body language and socialization because they're so separated and masked. I question if the mask mandate is for long-term health. Thinking outside of the box here, when it comes to death rates of children, when it comes to certain situations being drastically low, I don't know the exact number. Last time I looked, it was below a thousand in America, uh, below 12 years old. Why are we masking the children so heavily? What will the byproduct be? Is it saving them from a unforeseen variable of mutation? Or is it changing the course of America by a generation, not understanding how to socialize and interact? The answer to that question, I do not know. However, what I do know is the byproduct of these mandates is not being discussed. Because if it was being discussed, we would know. And that's why I discuss 
what are the long-term effects? What are the byproducts of these mandates if they get approved, of these executive orders if they get approved? Unfortunately, I don't see it as a positive byproduct. I see it as a negative byproduct, and I see the middle class, small business, and our families suffering most. It's my take on things. It doesn't necessarily mean it's right or wrong, but it's how I see it. And I'm really interested in what you guys think about this as well. I urge you to look at the press release by the office of Governor Ned Lamont, which the links will be in the show notes, and read it for yourself and see how it's being articulated. And if you want to discuss it, let's discuss it. But do know that fundamentally speaking, choice and freedom is more and more becoming less available with each extension of an executive order from states like the state of Connecticut. And that is what is factual. And I hope that you can also see that. All right, guys, so that was my show on the executive orders and potential extension of them for the state of Connecticut moving through 2022. Now, please understand, I hope that I'm wrong. I really, really do. I really hope that I'm wrong. And if you have been watching me for a while, when it comes to these topics, I hope that I'm wrong. Unfortunately, I'm not normally. And um, all in all, I hope that I brought a subject to light that may you may, may know or not know about and realistically got the gears spinning. I want to know what you think about these topics. If you don't agree, if you do agree, if you think something differently, drop a comment below. All right, let's discuss it. If you got anything from this video, smash that like button and tell YouTube to push it out to everybody else in the state of Connecticut that wants to know about this topic. All right, guys, I appreciate you and I'll catch you next week.